The Clean Water Act was put into place to keep our environment as well as our drinking water clean. But there are big gaps in the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act says dumping must be restricted to non-navigable waters. This means you can only dump pollutants in waterways too small for a boat to pass through. In 2001 and 2006, two big Supreme Court cases narrowed what navigable waters entails, creating loopholes for big agricultural companies to dump waste into Florida's waterways. Big agriculture and big sugar in South Florida and the American Farm Bureau is like the biggest polluter. It's just cheaper for them and easier to continue dumping in the streams with like whatever pollution that they acquire. And um, so they keep pressuring the president to keep the loopholes in place. The biggest gaps in the Clean Water Act are non-point sources. Point sources, like pipes, channels, or containers that discharge pollutants into the water are regulated. But agriculture tends to fall under non-point source. The Clean Water Act doesn't even cover groundwater. So if an agricultural company were to spray waste over their land and it seeped into navigable rivers as runoff, that wouldn't be regulated. Um, a lot of stormwater runoff, a lot of, um, a lot of activities that are more widespread on the landscape don't get um, regulated or dealt with very effectively at all. This has left 80 percent of Florida's waterways recently tested polluted. And where does our drinking water come from? The polluted water. <laughs> I tried contacting a member of the Florida Farm Bureau, but he was unable to return my phone calls. Ron St. John was voted Florida Farmer of the Year for keeping nutrients out of the water. But not all farmers are as responsible, which is why the EPA proposed a ruling last year in hopes of closing those loopholes. Environment Florida is waiting to hear back from the White House any day now. But even after closing the loopholes, there still may be large gaps in the Clean Water Act. Denise Toledo, WUFT News. And 80% um, of Florida's waterways recently tested are considered too polluted to swim, drink from, go fishing, like anything in them. And um, it's just a really terrible situation. I think people who live closer to them can see it more. But I mean, even the St. John's is pretty polluted. It's gross. <laughs> The definition of, of a point source, which is the type of activity which is regulated, specifically excludes agricultural stormwater runoff and return flows from irrigated agriculture. Agriculture is treated uh, very loosely under the Clean Water Act. Only if you have a, uh, for example, a feedlot, you're collecting the runoff and you're then discharging it to a traditional to a navigable water will there be jurisdiction. But if you take the barrel and put it into um, spray rigs and spray it all over the landscape, it's not regulated. Big polluters have since started to pay lobbyists to pressure the president to keep the loopholes in place so that they can keep dumping in the waterways, the smaller streams and uh, rivers. 